Hi. Well, in previous, uh, when I did some previous videos with this uh, Thompson Center Hawk and Rifle in 45 caliber, of course it's a muzzleloader, uh, people asked uh, me how uh, much power these had. And I don't have a chronograph to run uh, this through, so I can't really answer that question uh, specifically. Maybe Mark III SMLE, uh, Teleoceros, or Cap and Ball on uh, YouTube could answer that question better than I could. But what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to fire a couple of shots at that mild steel target and we'll see what this will do to it. I'm going to use both a, a patched round ball and a maxi ball. Now, um, well, they used to call these maxi balls. I think nowadays they call them a real bullet. Uh, real standing for rifling engaged at loading. But back uh, when I bought this rifle, they called these maxi balls. It's what I used to use to hunt deer with. You can see it's got uh, grooves in it that you fill with lube when you load it. But anyway, here I'll get her loaded up and we'll see what it'll do to that little uh, mild steel plate. Okay, I got her all loaded up with the maxi ball and a pretty stiff load of powder. Range is about 60 yards down to that steel plate. Okay, we'll go see what it did to it. Well, there's the result. I'm kind of surprised that it didn't penetrate that steel plate, but it didn't. This, of course, that's soft lead uh, uh, bullet that I was shooting. Made a pretty good dent in it, but it didn't go through. Well, since that 220 grain maxi ball didn't go through that steel plate, it's probably not very likely that a 127 grain round ball will either, but uh, we'll give it a try and just see what happens. Okay, we'll go see what it did. Okay, right there is the damage that it did. Just a nice uh, round dent in it. It might have actually come closer to going through than the heavy maxi ball did. Maybe uh, velocity has more to do with go penetration uh, through uh, something like this than the uh, weight of the bullet does. Well, I'm really kind of surprised that uh, the loads that I put through this rifle today would not penetrate that mild steel plate. I've used both of those loads in the past on deer and it will knock the hell out of a deer. But I guess you live and learn. Even though it's uh, good enough to knock down a deer, doesn't necessarily mean that it has uh, enough power to penetrate a steel plate. But anyway, I want to do an end of video shout out. And this one's for Hasman440. And I'll put a link to his channel in the description of this video. If you get a little free time, go check it out. Thanks for watching.